Hello and welcome to the show. Coming up, the journey from hell thousands of Londoners take to their feet in rush hour chaos after tube drivers walk out over pay. We'll be having your comments on that story after, as it was the day from hell on the tubes. Let us know what you think about that. We'd love to hear your comments. Also, lovely news yesterday was announced by Colleen herself and Wayne Rooney that they are expecting their third child. We'll have all the news and gossip on that story coming up soon. Also, carrying on with the showbiz news, Shell Fernandez Fasini has been causing trouble as she was spotted out in the, at the X Factor auditions, looking very, very thin, and now the singer has hit back at Instagram critics as some of her followers slammed her for being too thin at the recent X Factor auditions. But is she too thin? The singer has said that I'm sick and tired of being feeling it okay to be called someone too thin or a bag of bones I would never dream of calling someone too fat and that they would cut me down their food intake what's the difference is Cheryl right should we stop body shaming or is it just or as a role model should the young girls do celebrities have responsibilities to promote realistic and healthy body types let us know what you think and here's how Get in touch and get involved. You can contact us on our social media platforms, hitting us up on Facebook, following us on Twitter, sending your pics to us on Instagram, And emailing us. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Time to look through the newspapers now and on the front page of the Daily Express it's by Royal Command Kate cheers Andy into semi-final at Wimbledon and Karen on the budget oh we did this yesterday's show hooray it's pay rise all round Chancellor George puts wages up and taxes down, which is good news, but we don't want to talk about the budget. It's not that sort of programme. We said this yesterday on... If it will move. We don't want Financial Times. We don't want The Guardian. On the front page of the day... It will work in a minute, I promise you. On the front page of the Daily Star, now that works, George, pay rise for all. Day at the show must go on for Simon Cowell as... Sadly, his mother passed away over the weekend. Well, he was seen back at the X Factor auditions and he even put a smile on them. Luckily, the crowd gave him a standing ovation, bless him. <coughs> Excuse me. My terror on the theme park. That's what we told you about yesterday. Joe Pugh, the Alton Towers victim, spoke out on ITV this morning about his ordeal to Amanda Holden and Philip Schofield. Up here, it's Ashes Bo Boost and Andy Wynn, Sterling Shockers. That's the Daily Star for you. On the front page of the Daily Mail, Fears, Fearless George slams the dragons. That's all about the budget on the front page of this. I think we'll skip by there. On the front page of on the front page of the Daily Mirror, Contricks Osborne says UK is getting pay rise, but millions will be worse off. He's bringing in bogus living wages and then cut tax credits. NHS get 10 billion, but 5 million public workers face 1% pay agony. That's the main story there. First Tory budget for 19 years, that was. Up here, it's Cheryl versus Rita, obviously talking about the X Factor auditions that happened yesterday, I believe, happening today, I believe. Um, and there it's 5 million lotto winner set to help sick Paul Gaverstein. That's the Daily Mirror. On the front page of the Metro, it's Put Your Andes Up. That's Kate Middleton and Annie Murray, David Beckham and Leo Sayer and Prince William, of course, at Wimbledon yesterday. And down the bottom, carrying on the budget theme, a living wage, but benefits will be smashed. On the front page of the Sun, Skinny Cheryl in X Factor Shocker. We'll be talking about this later. It's the Cheryl Fernandez for Senior spotted out the X Factor audition is looking very, very Thin, and it was actually painfully thin to see her like that. Of course, she's come back and said that she's recently lost her father-in-law, so she hasn't been eating properly. But people have said this could be the start of bulimia or anorexia. Let us know what you think about that story. And here it's got the welfare state, more pays, tax cuts and less dull. Um, we don't need the Independent and we don't need the Daily Telegraph and we've done today's news. <laughs> so sorry about that. I'll see you after this. Remember to let us know on how... Any 
any comments you want about the show, anything in the news or on telly today, let us know and here's how. Get in touch and get involved. You can contact us on our social media platforms, hitting us up on Facebook, following us on Twitter, sending your pics to us on Instagram, and emailing us. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Welcome back. Now the rush hour got off to an early start with thousands of commuters attempting to squeeze themselves onto packed carriages across the cap capital of London yesterday. Underground workers were walked out over into Spirit over Pay yesterday evening causing absolute chaos in London. People tried to avoid the rush by leaving early but were forced with scenes of chaos and baffled their way onto the last tubes before the entire network came to a standstill at half six in the evening. Huge crowds formed at stations across the city, several including Oxford Circus in central London, cl close to avoid overcoming platforms and massive numbers of passengers tried to travel. Network bosses say that there will be no service at all tomorrow after almost two 20,000 workers walked out over pay and the introduction of the new all-night service in a 24-hour strike. London Overground, DLR, TFL, Rail and Trains will operate as normal service, but the public transport and roads are expected to be gridlocked until the network is back up running on Friday morning. And it will disrupt threatening leaving it to the last minute of the weekend. It coincides with a 48 hour strike on the first Great Western service which also begins this evening results in a of chaos of millions of commuters in the capital. Some of the millions of people who use the service every single day had to manage to leave work early today to find the stations being closed, completely shut down including Victoria Street station or trains already packed. Oxford Circus Station was temporarily closed service times from 4.30pm to prevent crowding on the platforms, with reports suggesting Harbour, Bond Street and Piccadilly Circus were also shut down too. Transport for London, TFL, said it's incompose crowd control, meaning that at Oxford Circus, meaning it was temporarily closed and reopening to prevent overcrowding on the platforms, which personally is a good thing, we don't overcrowd on the platforms. Meanwhile, at Green Park Station, people were forced to crash into carriages on the final service, whilst hundreds of others were left on the platform, not being able to get home. Jenny McGee, who is a runner for STV, was caught up in the chaos this evening and said, I've only lived in London for a week so this is a new experience for me i didn't think it was going to be this bad i don't really know how i'm going to cope and get home over the next few days it's just ridiculous they get paid a lot already so it's not fair and it's making many many people suffer St stephen naylor who works for fuji in oxford street said i am against the strikes but i understand why they are doing it the union will do what they have to do to help their members. It just means that everyone else has to suffer and has to change travel arrangements, which is very, very, very frustrating. Steve Glantz, who works for a recruitment agency near Oxford Circus, had this to say. I left work to, to try and avoid any disruption. I think the strike is an unreasonable reality. It's not fair on the rest of us. I understand why people are doing it, but everyone else has to deal with changes in their work working conditions. They should just deal with it and get or they get they get paid well above the average wage already and it's not fair. Tomorrow I'm just not going to have to go to work and not get the train to Waterloo and Oxford Circus if I need to go out and maybe walk to destinations, at least it will give me some exercise. Another commuter who wished not to be named said, I don't see I don't it doesn't seem fair at all. They get paid better than most people, including me, so I don't see why they need more money. But the fact is London realises on the under public transport, but doesn't mean that we should be mad to suffer. 
have something to say about the story? Did you get caught up in this, what happened yesterday evening? Was it, did you get home really late? Let us know on our social media platform and here's how. Get in touch and get involved. You can contact us on our social media platforms, hitting us up on Facebook, following us on Twitter, sending your pics to us on Instagram, And emailing us. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Now in other news, putting all the chaos in London to one side, it's been announced that Colleen and Wayne Rooney are expecting their third child. Yes, they broke the news last night on their Twitter accounts as the WAG took to her Twitter account to say to her 1.2 million followers on the social networking site, baby number three is on its way. January, we are so happy and excited, the 29-year-old revealed on her media account. And Wayne Rooney took to his account a little while after at the same time to say that he is absolutely over the moon with their announcement and he cannot wait as he tweeted, delighted that me and at Colleen Rue are having our third child and it's on its way. He added fantastic news, absolutely brilliant. The footballer and his wife are already parents to two sons, five-year-old Kate and two-year-old Kate Clay. It comes at a happy time too as the Smitten pair who have been together for a total of 13 years as Madden Celebrity World celebrate their seventh wedding anniversary recently before the happy announcement that Brunette Beauty also hinted shortly before that that she is planning to try and stay active through her latest pregnancy, tweeting Feeling it, third day back in the gym, hashtag hard work. We know how you feel, Colin. Colin, who married childhood sweetheart and Manchester United star legend Wayne, also 29, in Italy in 2008, previously admitted that she would love a little girl. So you never know, hopefully she would have a little girl. After speaking, after giving birth to Kat Clay in 2013, she told Hello Magazine, I'd probably like another one. Not too soon, though. I think a girl would be complete the family but because boys get on so well another boy would just be as nice but at the moment life is good it's busy but I'm enjoying it however she also confessed having two children was more difficult than she had intimidated got some of your comments here about this beautiful story as Maya has said congratulations a young couple who have come through so much and some trying times. Cheryl has said knew it, she was flaunting the past of the belly a bit too openly recently. Um, Mr Bright from Essex has said aren't they a bit old for that now? No they're not Mr Bright, get them in the real world. Um, where else are we going? Totu has said love Colleen, always with her kids, fantastic, unlike some other celebrities nowadays. After the break, we'll have your comments on the chaos in London yesterday, and is Cheryl Fernandez for seeing too thin? We'll have your comments on that also. See you after this. Welcome back. Now, yesterday, Cheryl Fernandez Fasini was spotted on the red carpet at the X Factor auditions looking very, very thin. Over the last few days, the press have picked up on this and published articles about her weight, and people were commenting on her Instagram posts talking about her weight too. And Cheryl picked up on the comments that were being posted, and she picked up and commented on one of them and said, I'm so sick and tired of being of think, people thinking it's okay to call someone too thin or a bag of bones. I would never dream of calling somebody too fat and they should maybe cut down on their food intake. What's the difference? Cheryl herself has said that there's nothing wrong with her weight and she's fed up with people going on about it and it is also getting her down sadly. Now, but is Cheryl too thin? 
Now, looking through some of your comments you on that you've published online, it's clear to think that you do think that she's too thin, but she's actually got a point, and we completely agree. She's, you shouldn't comment on somebody else's weight. She is too thin. We've said it loads of times, but, I mean, here are some of your comments. Now, Debs Manus said, absolutely agree with Cheryl. What right does someone have to say things like men prefer meat, bones are just for dogs a thin person's body shaming is not okay whether it's fat or thin yes Cheryl is thinner at the moment but I'm sure she knows what she is doing um, Jan has said the fact that she is thin is far too thin and doesn't look healthy sends messages to young girls and some children that are body curious from an early age she needs to take some responsibility as she's on TV and a role model whether she likes it or not um, Karen has said, when I was too thin, once my mother-in-law said I looked like disgusting. On the flip side, I wouldn't dream of saying that to a large person, that they were disgusting. When, Why were you thinner? You could be co called rude things. Um, Amy has said, in the same post, Cheryl admitted that she has lost some weight due to family issues. She would easily regain her figure when she has less stress. She isn't choosing to be thin. People's vile comments will hurt another one's feelings, underweight or overweight too. Alicia has said she just looks thin and it is her body at the end of the day. So who are we to judge? We completely agree with that. Um, Amanda, has, Amanda Garrett has said, whilst growing up, I was extremely thin and was bullied for it. I used to th think to myself, why do people think it's okay to bully me for my size, but it's not okay for me to bully someone else who is big? You look fab, Cheryl. Go, go. And that's getting quite a lot of likes on this, but obviously people agree. Deborah Humes has said, people just judge in any way, in my opinion. If someone is too thin or too fat, it's not okay. In a personal opinion, therefore, should be kept to themselves. Name calling and bullying and judging is the real issue behind this and we are not ones to judge it's her life at the end of the day let her live um louise palmer said i agree with some i agree calling someone skinny is just hurtful and calling someone fat is even more hurtful but to shame someone looking like this she was absolutely perfect before suppose what it comes to as long as she's happy with herself we agree with that personally cheryl is too thin but she's had so many issues and she will put the weight on she's a stunning girl and she's got a stunning figure too now that's some of your comments, but what do you think? Let us know on our social media platforms and here's how. Get in touch and get involved. You can contact us on our social media platforms, hitting us up on Facebook, following us on Twitter, sending your pics to us on Instagram, And emailing us. I'll look forward to hearing from you. Yes, get in touch with the show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.